Hey, John, what's the crack? How are you? Nice to see you, Rachel. All good with you? Yeah, all great. All good with me. Excited for um, excited for the Irish show now with Duran. So, um... Of course, you've got Dublin on the 7th of May. That's going to be an amazing show. I mean, the last time the band did Dublin, it was um, St. Anne's Park, obviously outside. I much prefer an indoor show, do you? Me too. I mean, I do love a festival. Um, I love a festival in a sunny country but it rained in dublin so i am looking forward to you know being cozy in the dressing room yeah there's something about the intensity though of an indoor show for real or something i imagine you've got like have you got like a a coach organized for your family to make the drive <laughs> nothing's fully organized yet but um yeah i mean all the family hopefully will be able to make it mom and dad will be there of course um and yeah, hopefully we'll we'll make a night of it. They'll stay down. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really excited because a lot of my family, friends and family haven't seen me with Duran yet because I've been in America or um yeah. around Europe and they haven't had the chance to come over. So yeah, I'm really excited. Really. Yeah, I mean, after all the massive high profile shows you've done, I'm sure they've obviously seen you on TV on numerous occasions doing, you know, but I mean, those are massive gigs you've done and this will be nice kind of a bit of a party atmosphere yeah I hope so I mean I think any show in Ireland's got a party atmosphere because the crowd's just always up for it the band always say it's like when they go on stage it's all about having fun it's the entertainment yeah. which is really inside. great you know because I am I'm a panicker the guy I'm a real stressor get really nervous stage fright um so it's nice with such a high profile band. I was putting, when I first joined, I was putting pressure on myself because I was like, it's Duran Duran, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, I, I need to be amazing. I need to be perfect. But I mean, obviously they want you to do your best and try your best, but they're so relaxed that they're just like, try your best, have fun. They almost relax me, which is great. Yeah. And that, and that's true. I mean, it's a very live show, and and I mean the musicianship and the vocals from everybody on that stage, they're doing their job so well. I mean, we've talked before about the level of musicianship. Like you must be like, wow. I think I've told you this before. The first rehearsal I ever had with them, I just remember having a moment where I was like, whoa. I think we were playing hungry, like the Will for Rio or something, and I just had to stop and be like, this is crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> like I love, I, I love drums. Like I really love drums. So like Roger on the drums, like that's crazy. And especially on, you know, on the live shows, and and he's really getting into it. And you know, he's feeding off the crowd, and oh, it's just great. It's really cool. I'm so excited to get back on tour. You know, I feel oh, like sure. I haven't. Oh, I, I feel like I haven't been on tour in like five years. It's only been like three months. I know when you think about I mean the New Year's Eve one in um Times yeah. Square was special. I mean that that was oh my no that was insane, honestly. Can't even describe it. I, I that was just it was like I was in a movie. The band that has so many songs, a new track could be dropped into the set list really quickly. You know, I mean, for example, the um the Vegas Halloween show. That was a bit of a deep dive. I imagine you had to learn a bunch of new songs quickly. Yeah, well, I mean, I think this is what's, it's what's fun about the band also. They they like to spice things up. So it kind of keeps it fun that they throw in the random song. But the, the Vegas show was a lot. That was a lot of work for everyone, actually. But yeah. it was it was fun work, you know, working out harmonies because they did a lot of covers on the Vegas show. Yeah. which was also really fun. And the band also really enjoyed that. Like that was such a buzz from that show. That's great too, because you're like a, you're a new generation of Jurani in many ways now, because, <laughs> you know, when you got the job, you must have looked at the back catalogue and thought, well, hang on a second. I know that one. I know that one. I know these other hundred songs and they just keep coming. We're talking like 15 albums worth. Yeah, I panicked. I really really panicked I remember going to my so I auditioned with Simon and then had my first official rehearsal the week later and wasn't given a list of songs or anything was just told to familiarize yourself 
And I was sitting at home thinking, well, how am I familiar to myself with two million songs here? Like, <laughs> you know? But um, it, we, we ended up, we were working a lot on their new album, Future Past, which is obviously great. So everyone yeah. was kind of learning it at the same time. It was um, It was nice. But yeah, they have a lot of songs. They do. And, um, you know, I think as well with the set list for you, you must have favourites now. I know you love Hungry Like the Wolf. I know that's one of your favourites. But um, as time has gone on, you must look at them and go, I'm really looking forward to singing that one. Yeah. Um, Union of the Snake, I love, mm -hmm. which is an old day. Um, I mean, Give It All Up from the new album. Obviously, I love that one. I love Tove Lowe, really. Yeah, really brilliant. Her. I think she's good. Um, I mean, I think it kind of changes. Um, you go kind of go through phases. Hungry like the wolf in Rio. I mean, all always love that. Um, Union of the Snake, love that. But um, yeah. Do you have a favorite? What's your favorite Duran song? Oh, wow! There are so there are so many. Well, why don't we have a wee pop quiz and I'll go, we'll go through the albums and then. You can tell me your favorite from each album. All right, like a quick fire thing, then, yeah. yeah it's not work. It's <laughs> like the teeth. This is this is you springing this on me. What if I don't know any of the songs? I think I will. Though off you go. Um. Right. <laughs> Get the list of albums up here. Right. So. Okay. Firstly, Duran Duran. Um. Anyone out there? It's perfection. Oh, love that. We did that. At um Halloween show in Vegas actually that was a great one. Such a good song, yeah. Yeah. Uh Rio. Wow, I mean, as you know yourself, the songs in that album were so good, it's really hard to pick one because that would that was a, a bit of a masterpiece. It's like people are playing so well on that album and never getting in each other's way. Every instrument's like a lead vocal kind of in that album. But it's hard to go past the title track for the bass line alone, but um Lonely in Your Nightmare is the one I'm going for. We did that for the Vegas show as well. That no. was so cool. Seven and the Ragged Tiger. This is fun. Uh, you mentioned Union of the Snake earlier. Um, sorry, Simon, but there's an instrumental in that album <laughs> called Tiger, <laughs> Tiger, which is really, really good. But I think Shadows on Your Side is another one, which is really good. Wow, we did this. This is literally the Vegas set list. We did this <laughs> Vegas too. Great one. Yeah. Um, next up, Notorious. Right. Skin Trade is the best song on that album. Um, I think it's very special. It's it's got a lovely sort of laid back groove to it, and it kind of um it's a song that takes time to enjoy itself, it's in no hurry. Big thing. I'm going to go for All She Wants Is, which is brilliant, or Palomino. It's hard to choose between those two. We're doing well so far, aren't we? This is good. You are, you are. I don't even think I know um, Palomino. I must listen to these. Yeah, so, yeah you, um, probably, you probably should, because apparently Palomino's in a surprise gig you're doing tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> no bother, I'll, I'll, I'll learn it. Mm -hmm. um, Next album, Liberty. Yeah, an album the band really touch live in terms of the songs on it. Um, Serious is a great song. It's a perfect sort of pop rock song, uh, if we can call it that. But there's a song in there called My Antarctica, which is very special. The Wedding Album. It's, uh, it's interesting, that one, because it's, you know, the anniversary. I wrote a piece for the band's website on this recently. Um, I read, yeah, I read that. Yeah, and it's kind of um, so much on there, and so many diverse, so much diversity in it. It's it's got everything, you know, it goes all over the place in a good way. It's impossible, probably, not to mention ordinary world. There, I know it's one of your favorites. Um, it's a very very important song, obviously, but there's also one on there called Shelter. Um, thank you. Covers album's a funny one to choose from. Um, I'm going to go for the cover of Bob Dylan's Lay Lady Lay because 
strangely, the band managed to turn it into Come Undone, which is weird and fun at the same time. So we'll go for that. I'm also for that. Medaza Land. Be My Icon. Menacing. It's good. Pop Trash. Playing With Uranium. I'm really impressed. You know every album. <laughs> we're, we're doing deep dives here. Rachel is great. Love this. Um, this will be the set list for Dublin. Right. Uh, <laughs> Astronaut. <laughs> oh, um, Astronaut is a very good album. Um, so they all got back together again for that one. Um, nice, which is a really sort of poppy, fun song. Yeah, I do like that one. Yeah, I'd like them to put that in the set, yeah. Red Carpet Massacre. Right, right. Again, there are moments to choose from. And again, it's not an album the band tend to touch uh, live. Um, not recently, anyway. The Valley, the opening track. Really, really like that one. Yeah. Um, all You Need Is Now. Hope you're enjoying this, by the way. This is going yeah, on. I'm learning a lot here. I'm really learning a lot. This is like... <laughs> This is like a Duran history lesson. I'm loving it. This is fun. Yeah, all you need is now. The title track's brilliant on that album, um, as is Runway, Runaway. But Girl Panic is such fun. And I think you and I talked about the video for that song uh, the last time where, where the, the supermodels play the band. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really... Yeah, that's... yeah Girl Panic. Uh, and Paper Gods... Only in dreams. Have you performed much from Paper Gods? You've done. Have you done Pressure Off? Oh yeah, Pressure Off. Mm. That's a fun one to sing. That's actually sometimes you're out of breath after singing that because it's so like high energy. Um, future Past. Well, if I don't say give it all up, you'll probably put your laptop lid right down. Yeah. I will, John. You're right. You know me so well now. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great song. And you and okay, Tova Lo does it on the record, but you've really made it your own on tour. You must be Oh so well that, thank you. Thank you. I mean, I still get really nervous singing that, you know. I really, really do, but I think I'm slowly coming into it, but that means a lot. So thank you. No, it's great. And that I love Invisible as well. I, I oh, think yeah. that's a really intense song, you know. Um, I also love Tonight United. Mm -hmm. I love singing that. See, it's different because performance songs are, are is very different to just listening to songs, you know? Like some songs maybe I'd love performing yeah. to more than just listening to them. But Tonight United is yes. one of those. I love performing it. Yeah, I can imagine that. This thing's come up on screen, you know, about we're running out of time kind of thing. So I'll just press that. That's just a long we've been nattering away. But yeah, no, those those are great songs. Falling as well, the last track. Um yeah. which is with Mike Garson's piano and stuff. It's it's a particularly special too. Mike Garson was on stage with us in um LA. That was special. But we did five years, we didn't do the fallen track. Right. Five years is great version yeah. though as well. So this has been a sort of a fun stroll through albums, hasn't it? Love it. It's like a history lesson. It's done me the world of good. It's great. I'm going to go to rehearsals now and I'll be given a big list of all the songs I'd like to play. You call Nick over and go, Nick, what about Palomino? It's time that was in the set. Nick, come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And, you know, also, we have to talk about your music. I want to be sitting here in a while with you and talk about all your albums and my favourite tracks. So do I. So you do have, I. You've done a great job with Domino. I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry, you know. Uh, what's next? It's really, it's been really fun, and I'm, I'm very much learning, you know. Like I'm kind of putting things out and getting feedback, and um, very different feedback from each songs and blah blah blah. So, um, I'm actually heading to Sweden tomorrow, so I'm writing songwriting for the rest of the week in Sweden. Right. Um, but these will be songs for next year <laughs> because all my songs for this year I wrote last year. So um, I've got a few more songs coming out for the rest of the year. We've kind of planned it. Um, the next song isn't going to be an original, though. 
I don't think I've said this, but I'm releasing a cover. I'm not going to say what cover it is just yet, but mm-hmm. it's um, it's an it's an old day, but I I love it. Interesting. Um, okay. So it's going well. Still finding my feet, but it's it's all fun, <laughs> and obviously your support's been great. So thank you. No, not at all. You can tell me what the cover is after we close the lid. <laughs> I will, I will. That was a good chat today. And I know you've got your washing machine on the background. I do. The adult life is just not for me, John. But <laughs> no, it was great chatting to you. And um, I'll see you in Dublin. Yeah, it should be a really, really good night, you know. So um, that's why you need to get back on tour to avoid your adult life. I know, I know. So, <laughs> we'll see you soon, Rachel. Thank you very much. See you soon.